Hello and welcome back to my channel Retro Sorts of Farming and today I am going to do another farm build video on the Elm Creek map. Up in the northeast corner of the map there is uh, another farm uh, decoration which is called River Rock, uh, River Rock Estate to be exact and all the buildings and fences are just for decoration purposes only so I'll, today I'll be removing those buildings and replacing them with a functioning farm so here we are arriving at uh, River Rock Estate established in 1925 so all these buildings again here are just decoration there are a few fields around the area but I'll just be concentrating on placing buildings and landscaping there's not a lot of landscaping to do as it's uh, mostly flat but uh, there is a little bit not as much as the last video so here's the time lapse. Enjoy! So we're just coming up on the first problem I had with the trees, here we are, it's a tree glitched out, so uh, rather than put you through the pain of watching me struggle with it, I just skipped on. So here you see me using a uh, wind turbine um, and 
that's not where I'm going to place the wind turbine that I'm just using that to gain more height for when I'm placing something that will not place next to the boundary of the map it's just a, a technique that I'm using to gain that extra height So as you can see I'm using a, a variety of mods uh, to do this, this build so I will put a list of all the mods that I've used in the description of the video. Again there I'm using the wind turbine to gain height so I can get the texturing tool to reach where I need it to reach otherwise it wouldn't be possible to put the textures there. If you were wondering why my money says 999 million, uh, that would be because I used the government subsidy mods to uh, basically cheat money into the game. It's just a way to allow you to do what you want to do uh, without the limitations of uh, having no money obviously all this landscaping and buying and placing buildings costs a lot of money so you need those funds available the government subsidy mod I placed at the, uh, the start of the game I placed many many signs and advanced time as well because what I've done is restone the fields uh, with a crop and I wanted those to grow so there was something in the fields so I have advanced the year through from August to January that's why there's 999 million and it doesn't seem to go down I think I may have broken the money system with that mod on this game save So when I came to level this ground here I realised that the ground wasn't going to level because of the building I placed there so I've had to delete it and level the ground again to get rid of that, that, that ridge that was in the way.
So when trying to place this uh, chicken coop, I was not able to flatten the land, so I've had to get the uh, um, what do you call it, the the mulcher. And here comes dream nightmare number two. So again, I I do skip it. Although there is a technique here that I do demonstrate. If you're struggling to get rid of a piece of wood, then the best option i found is to buy a chainsaw and keep chopping, or not chopping, cutting uh, little pieces off the piece of wood that you want to get rid of and uh, eventually it disappears. So I just pushed the problem tree to one side there, made sure that the chicken coop had would place and it does so then I can go back to trying to get rid of the, the wood <clears throat> so here comes a point where I get fed up of pushing the pieces of the wood around and just decide to have a go with the chainsaw As you can see, you just keep cutting little pieces off and eventually it disappears. And then you know, I had to chop this tree into, into pieces, so I'm going to spin on a bit. There's the last piece going now, so I can put the mulcher away and carry on. I did have a question on my last video regarding the, the plants and uh, the flowers. Um, just to clear up, the, the flowers, plants, bushes and trees uh, and ground textures are all specific to the map you're playing on. Any mod maps that come out will have uh, a selection that the, the modder has, has put in there. They, they can do their own custom textures or they can use the, the giant space game ones. So it will depend on what map you're playing on as to what textures, plants you can, can use to do something like this. Like on Elm Creek the flowers are red and yellow.
So here, placing the sheet pen, you can see I've had problems again with the flattening of the land. It created some sort of weird lump. So I have to delete it, flatten it, and then smooth it out again after I've placed it. So my idea behind these videos is to show that uh, farm builds on console are just as possible as they are on PC. There are some limitations, obviously the mods are fewer, but in general you can do a quite decent job of building your own farm. And the tools are there and it's quite simple to use. If you do have any questions or suggestions please do comment so everything you see here I am doing on my PS5 including editing the video recording the voiceover and uploading to YouTube
so here we are at the end of my second video if you have enjoyed it please do drop me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this type of content please do consider subscribing to my channel if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to reply to you but for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video